SOLIDWORKS 2013 introduces powerful new capabilities that bridge the gap between solid and surface modeling. Here a fairly generic wireless router design needs some new cosmetic features to be added to it to make it more appealing. We've created the housing using solid features, but we've also created a new top profile using surfaces. If we look at a cross section, we can see the desired effect we're trying to achieve requires both removing and adding material to the design. New in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is the introduction of the Intersect tool. It allows us to choose both solids and surface bodies, and SOLIDWORKS will find all the possible regions that it can be created from them. These can then be removed or kept. This eliminates several individual tedious steps that often require extra work including cuts with surface, knitting, trimming, merging, etc. Once SOLIDWORKS has found all the possible regions to choose from, all that is required it to select what we would like to exclude from the final design. Here we've chosen the outside material above the surface and some regions inside the logo. We can also choose to consume any of the surface bodies that were used in the process, removing unnecessary further steps to delete those bodies when we're finished. SOLIDWORKS will then go to work creating the finished model based on our selection and the combination of the surfaces and solid bodies used for in this feature. Once this has finished, we can return to the section view and see the final result. This is in fact exactly what we wanted to create and required far less work than prior to with the powerful new Intersect tool.